Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and I'm excited to show you two great new features here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile. I've recently been taking lots of GoPro and iPhone photographs and transferring them directly onto my iPad. Then I can add these photographs to my Lightroom Mobile collections. As you can see here, I have a GoPro Antarctic image collection right here. And this is where we're going to start. I'm going to open up this collection you see here. Here from the top of the menu is something new. I'm going to tap right here. As you can see, I can now have a flat or segmented way of viewing the images in this collection. I'm going to select segmented right there. It's now segmenting each of these images into the day and the year in which each of the photos was shot. In addition to that, if I've flagged any of these images, for example, with the picked setting, as you see here, I can tap on picked and then see only those images within this collection that have a flag of picked. So this is a great new feature. Let's take a look at the second feature that's been added to this new 1.3.0 version of Adobe Lightroom Mobile. I'm going to tap away from that menu and go right to this first image here. Now here's a GoPro Hero shot from Antarctica. You can clearly see the lens distortion here on the horizon. I'd like to remove this lens distortion, but there's no lens correction preset built into Lightroom Mobile. However, with this new feature found in this version of Lightroom Mobile, I can solve this problem. If I go back to my menu here, you can see here that I have some GoPro lens profiles that I've created. I created these inside of Adobe Lightroom on my desktop. And in this case, I have a GoPro Hero 4 lens profile that's been applied to this image. Now, check this out. I can now tap and hold on images here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile in this new version and now copy the settings for any image that I open up. In this case, I'm not going to be copying all of the settings. I'm only going to be copying the lens correction settings. So I'm going to select Deselect All and scroll down to the lens corrections right here. All I do now is select OK. Now I'm going to return to the photograph that I was working on right here. I simply tap and hold once again and paste my settings. Check it out. This means I can now bring in a variety of different presets from Adobe Lightroom on my desktop and use them here in Adobe Lightroom Mobile. So you've now expanded all of your capabilities for working in Lightroom Mobile by merely synchronizing images with the presets that you want to use. But wait, there's more. I want to add a radial filter to this image. Once again, radial filters are not built into Adobe Lightroom Mobile. However, I can create an image inside of Lightroom on my desktop that has a graduated or radial filter applied to it. In this case, I've got one right here. This is the image that contains a radial filter. If I tap and hold on this image and select Copy Settings once again, I can now scroll down and select Local Adjustments right here and deselect Lens Corrections. Check this out. If I tap on the flyout menu here, you can see that local adjustments includes brush, graduated filters, and radial filters. I tap here on OK. And now I'm going to return to the image that I was working on right here. And let's open it up. Tap and hold and select Paste Settings. Wow. So I'm now combining both a radial filter and a lens correction on this image. Let's go ahead and finish this off by tapping and holding on this image and copying the settings, but in this case, let's copy all the settings. So all of my adjustments for this image are copied and I tap OK. Because now I can move to a second image in this same sequence of images I took with my GoPro camera and paste all of those settings, including the lens correction and the radial filter adjustments.
Wow. There you have it, some great new features found here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile version 1.3.0. Give it a try.